So I'm going to level with you guys. If I see New York on the ride schedule or the race schedule, I either dread it or I just avoid it completely. However, this course is a little bit different and I think it's got something to offer every style of rider. The climber, the sprinter, the puncher, whatever you are. So today I'm going to give you the essential insights on the course, but also I'm going to give you my top three tips on how to maximize this race and these points for yourself and your team. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who liked, commented and subscribed uh, based on last week's video. It really does motivate and help the channel. So stay tuned, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with this week's preview. All right, so the New York Com After Party course. This is basically a race of two sections, not two halves, but two sections. The first section is this 30 kilometer figure of eight, basically Gotham grind reverse section. And this is where we're gonna find the, the New York Sprint as well. So it's 30 kilometers over three laps. And then we're gonna head for the second part of the ride, which is this seven kilometer glass road section, as we start to head up towards the forward KOM. Now the whole of the glass road is not the KOM. It's only the final 1600 meters, six point one average gradient on there that's the real forward KOM. So there's opportunities for some more of the puncher riders to hang on in this first section of the glass road before we've got that three and a half, four mini effort to get to the finish line. So let's take it the course, let's take a look at the course in a bit more detail. I'm gonna go through the start, the figure of eight lap, the sprint section in a bit more detail, and then we'll take a look at that glass road and forward KOM. All right, so when you come out to the pens, you're gonna take an immediate left and head to the north side of Central Park. And basically, you're gonna keep going left for that first section of the figure of eight loop. Now, this part of the course, the whole part of this lower New York section is rolling. You're constantly rolling up and down. Although these little gradients are very, very short, you do have to stay switched on all the time. You've got little sections where it just kicks up to 6% six, 6 gradient. So again, you do have to be switched on. I've been ridden this course before and just been dropped off the backs. I've been daydreaming as you do sometimes when you're just trying to sit in the draft. So stay alert. You don't want to be constantly chasing back. It's also worth highlighting that one of the power-ups is the burrito. So again, if someone just drops a burrito in front of you and you've got to chase around them to get some draft, this is something you've got to be aware of through this whole lower section of course. So let's move on, push forward to the sprint section and take a look at that in a bit more detail. All right, so let's talk about the New York Sprint. It's only 230 meters in itself, so it's very, very short and very, very fast. In fact, in the middle section of the sprint, there's a downhill section. So you need to remember here, Zwift rewards momentum. So the pace should and will be up early, well before you hit that green marker to go in for the sprint. So whether you're looking at getting the fastest through or the first across the line, you need to have a great position about 500 meters before you get to the green marker. Now the visual cues that I'm using, as the road starts to ease around to the right, you'll see there's a turn for the right that you'll pass that takes you up the glass roads, but also you'll start to see the Empire State Building in the distance. That's my visual clue that I need to be in a great position ready for this sprint. So it's short, it's quick, it's gonna reward momentum because it's got this little downhill. Now remember, as always with these Zwift races in the last couple of seasons, that typically we're gonna see riders push on immediately after the sprint. And we've seen teams and riders utilize this to force breaks, to force groups, and to force the, the key move of the day. So keep an eye on that. So even if you're not contesting the sprint for yourself, you still need to be there or thereabouts in this front group and lifting the pace just in case there's a split immediately after that sprint. Brent. All right, so we've completed our three laps, our 30 kilometers of lower New York, and we're gonna to start to turn our attention to the glass roads of upper New York. Now, when you get to the glass roads, you're gonna see seven kilometers to go approximately. Now, don't worry, it's not a seven kilometer climb. The forward KOM itself is only 1.6 kilometers, 1600 meters, 6.1 average gradient. So it's a real sort of lactic acid kicker right to finish off this climb. The previous five or six kilometers on this glass road are fairly undulating, and I do expect some of the more the punchier sort of sprinter style riders to be able to hold on and draft up this first section 
the climb and hopefully have enough in the tank that they can really challenge some of the super climbers for that final kicker right at the end. And don't forget there's some big points available here. There's first through, fastest through and also the finish line points as well. So plenty of points on offer. So this is a real tactician's course. So think about the makeup of your team. Think about the roles within the squad. Who's going to be picking and focused on the sprint points? Who's going to focus on the climb points and the finish points as well to complete? So let's take a look at the power-ups in a bit more detail and bike selection for the New York Com After Party course. All right, so in terms of power-ups, we've of course got the standard sprinter stage aero power-up. So utilize that uh, effectively on those three sprints. Hopefully you guys managed to pick plenty of those up. We've also got the feather, which of course is gonna be utilized for the glass roads in that final KOM quicker, or even it could be used for the acceleration on the sprints if you, uh, if you wanna risk utilizing that to pick something more effective later. And of course, I'm really pleased to see the burrito here as well. I think this is a course where maybe on the glass road where it's getting strung out and you want to make it difficult for the guys behind you drop the burrito this makes you undraftable as well and maybe even on the lower sections where some of those riders who are drafting sitting in daydream a bit burrito them put them out the back something to think about in terms of bike selection i'm going to be going for something slippery probably the Cervelo s5 in terms of frame now i'm not going for a completely aero wheel set myself i'm going to go for the probably the dt swiss um, so yes pretty aero but they climb a little bit better than the 808s as well but you want something pretty aero for this route as i've said the first 30 kilometers undulating on the lower sections of new york and even the next five kilometers on that glass road are pretty undulating and aero will benefit if you've got the tron go for tron that's pretty simple all right so that's it my three tips in summary stay focused stay tuned on that lower section don't switch off because you could be popped out the back on one of those little kickers or maybe if someone burritos you uh, the sprint super short it rewards momentum so utilize the momentum get the pace up early make sure you've got great position as the road starts easing around to the right and finally like I say this climb it's only 1.6 kilometer long uh, yes there are a couple of sections when it kicks up but I think this particular route opens it up that it's not just going to be the super climbers but some of the real punchers have a chance here i'm talking to you lee when i say that you've got a chance on this course let's make it happen so there it is guys that's a course that's the top three tips go away have a chat with your team think about the tactics how are you going to utilize your riders and your makeup which six riders are you going to be selecting out of your roster to give the most points and maximize the opportunities on the new york com after party course just to mention guys as well, the guys over at Racing Without Borders are putting on recon rides every week, a couple of days before Tuesday night's race. So it's well worth jumping on one of those so you can check out the course beforehand. Again, I've put a link in the description below. Other than that, thank you for watching the video. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we've got some great content coming in the future and I'll see you in New York on Tuesday.